for the history of MacFest is that it started over 10 years ago. So it'll be the 14th MacFest next instead of 13th last year. And uh, it started off with the idea of a kind of festival that one thinks a festival should be. And it started as a site-specific festival, specifically in Malacca, because of the historical sites. Uh, and then it evolved to what it is now, especially after the pandemic, which was online. And then in the process, from a, what we think could be a viable commercial festival, it became more focused on what makes people do art. The platform was for independent artists and for artists at that time who have less opportunity in the platform to perform, especially in Asia. Uh, so if you do not belong to a company, you don't do. And then the onslaught of performance art, it has influenced a whole lot of the uh, uh, way people perform site specifically and we've learned a lot. In fact, one of the review, first review by Bilkis saying that for the first time they could see such a variety of ways to dance and performance and that was one of the basis and later it came back to the idea of transformation and that was the initial idea of Malacca Festival as an artistic drive, a thematic thing. And it was it was from that temple in Malacca. So Malacca has a very spiritual kind of a history of mixed culture, mixed religion, animism to Buddhism uh, and Islam. And so now it has encompassed all that in a multi everything way, uh, cultural, dimensional, disciplinary, and it evolved. So now it has become in from the last one I saw last year, something by the artists for the artists. In some ways, they want a space to be a practice where there's, they're emancipated by the, or they're free from the idea of a form of performance. So the experimentation is actually the idea of what I can really discover in the process. So the process is also part of the very big philosophy and the community has grown and we do not know what it means. Definitely one of the things that occurs to me is a separateness. It's a community of separateness. So it is like from the separateness is together, which is kind of a philosophy too. And so we do not artificially make something. We see it coming and facilitating it at least we as in a core group of people who have invested a lot of time and and passion into it and a kind of belief in an idea a lot from small theater to poor theater to community theater and stuff like that and redefining what's from the non-western side to the western side and really in some ways we have incorporated all that like say trans right from the a uh, very deep practice of a cultural tradition into a contemporary context. And that's always the exciting part. And maybe the drawing factor in Malacca Festival is always like Argos is always there now. And, and people like to be have a space where they can abandon, right? right? Especially like Christine from Norway. Uh, they found that so refreshing. And, and we take it for granted in some ways. So that's the history and what's going on in Malacca Festival. I always do not know when a new festival coming, what it's going to be like. And that is the strength of it. And there's also the scary part of it. Like, like any artist standing on the stage, they know what they know. And so we have a lot of structure that is already supporting it. And in the beginning, it was always people and money. And now both of these elements seems to be in the background. It's more like facilitating it, giving a date. There's a system of, of 
technology that allows it to be publicized and some of the places are always full because the amount of artists participating is always about 35 onwards so you know it is it is very rewarding to perform to artists as well uh, and because of the artists can you push some ideas not to say that the artist is not the general public they are not general in fact in the early Malacca festival it is general public because even for tourists and it has had taken in some ways a kind of a this is what I can do this is what I'm allowed to do and there's a kind of exotic element in that now it's gone deeper it's, it's questioning the authenticity the authorship of one's work instead of fitting into and this seems to be also a lot happening globally I think at this time the, the kind of individual and the spontaneous so I think for this year although the theme has always been like transformation it will be more specific and the theme has always been trans but it can be more specific in that sense that we can we know certain people who are there uh, like me that I don't want to do the same things not that I don't want to do the same things it, I want to find out a specific space where I can still ref be refreshed by something that I do not know yet that could that's what imminence is right so the imminence means that something that has not happened before and that defines the soul that defines the soul so performance soul and so it brings back the very fundamental things why why artists perform or why artists do art so i say why artists do art because now the medium have varied even the context is the same can you put an installation on can you do a performance in 15 to 20 minutes there has been something that comes up because of the nature of three days performance but maybe this year we could change it we could like for visual artists they could have a residency they could stay and immerse themselves i'm not sure but last year definitely we had a camping kind of situation for 10 or more artists and that touched a lot of different elements that we did not know but definitely it's not so much a holiday but it is a holiday in the real terms of the word is something holy <coughs> not something to escape from like a full-time job then I have to escape and go to the beach this is a time where we can touch into something sacred and that was like a holiday it was <coughs> And so the best way to travel and holiday is to work in artists in that sense you know the less what you do not want is to book a place on the beach so this has been one of the bridge element for artists and Malacca even though uh, the festival has no money to pay the artists the artists are free in their own ways to find their own support but because it's cheap, it's, it's, it's a kind of subsidy. For instance, if you go to Melbourne Fringe Festival, you have to come out with a certain money start. And then you have to find your own funding. It's not different from that, except that the poor theatre kind of structure means that we do not depend anything high in technology Although technology has become so sophisticated that we can have a great sound system and lighting system without, without restriction, we can move around. And so that has changed. And so we have that kind of freedom. So we, we keep saying the word experimental, but I think experimental might not be sufficient sometimes. It is true emancipation or true freedom at every different stage in different levels of oneself a matter of degree you know you can't say i'm free or i'm not free how much am i free how much do i know about that so to me Matt fest has that in some ways 
we have sister festivals in the region that has popped up like Indonesia and stuff and they have their own idiosyncratic qualities like from Bandung or something or Island Festival or Bangkok but in some way it has always linked uh, in some ways quite specific to their area like the Batu Festival like Agus is connected to Malacca Festival but what he does there is much deeper in the area of the blue trance but Malacca artists are beginning to go to all this so it's, it's what is this new paradigm of traveling what is the paradigm of a theater it's not so much that we go and collect something put them on stage here but we are beginning to travel for the experience in the immersion there a couple of months or three months before i put out a very simple form and the form is your bio in a very restricted number your synopsis of what you want to do or what you are doing in the process of that and then we need that uh, maybe closer to a month and a half because you also have to airfare you have to get accommodation and we have a lot of suggestions for that especially from Australia if you want to say we know the flight how much it cost at the moment it's about 600 return from Asia and then there is a place that we've been using a, a quite a three three star hotel it's pretty good it's got a balcony to the end that's like $26 a night for two people so this is very cheap uh, for the Australian for the Asian participants if you're from Indonesia or Malaysia it's quite different because Malaysia you're there for Indonesia a lot of them get funding from their countries and most of them seem even from their local government to their institution or the universities they get funded and we can supply letters or invitation clearly put in the context of what who are you applying for and we get very high success for some people like like people from Norway stuff where they get a team of people photographers writers that come with you so we have different levels also to remind you that the Malacca festival is inclusive so where you're emerging middle middle kind of a uh, level artist or established artist it doesn't matter it is more you your personal level that we are looking at and and from the historical side it's been incredibly supportive and people actually sometimes forget which level they are from <laughs> And that's one of the wealth of this festival. So I don't know what if festival suits the word. Maybe event. Event means something that hasn't happened, that you do not know yet is going to happen. Traditionally, it's, it's a week. So traditionally, you have a few days to prepare and immerse in Malacca. And then by the last three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have we have a program where, where you can perform and then you will know Malacca very well and the people and a lot of the artists that have been coming for the last 10 years know this very well and they support each other so there's all the kind of system of support is quite different from the official kind of festivals it is very community uh, driven uh, in many forms in new ways too Well, when, when you bring artists together, there are different levels of collaboration. One is to do it there. You can say, let's do something together, even though you have a synopsis of what you want to do. And then there are space for that. Say, can you play the music? And that has happened, of course. In fact, between dancers, actors, and musicians, and installation artists and stuff that has happened especially at the end when we do something together uh, how we have a structure of a group finale performance what involved usually that's driven by trans like blue trans but there's also a structure of ritual uh, and we redefine that 
and so collaboration can be different level. Plus, when people get to know each other, it continues. It never stops. At the end, they have new collaboration with that. And a lot of artists have work because of this bringing together. Very deep level, right? From level, you know, France, Japan, you know, uh, etc. Basically, at the moment, we have four lights that that uh, 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 you know is, is portable, and they, you you can have any kind of combination of light. It is it is quite good, and we have a very good sound system, the Bosch sound system that's portable, and many smaller ones. So when there are some spaces that are already fixed in Malacca, and there are spaces that you can you can discover, like the little streets. In Malacca or by the river or something outdoors but when you're indoors I think the support we give is quite strong and simple you know what else do you need except for a LED screen that's three meter by three meter that's you can even get that if you can afford it but we can't afford it but as, as this basic sound projection we can and if you know the space you're gonna perform you know the limitations of it Yes, they are not black boxes. They are not uh, proscenium style theaters where pe the audience sit down. It is, it is open, more like site specific, but small rooms and big spaces, and half industrial, maybe. Uh, well, we just discovered, and but there are also spaces that are abandoned in Malacca that's quite specifically interesting and one of the things that we've done is videos which is a new medium now because of technology everybody's got a phone they can just put in a video themselves and this has been one of the process of experimentation when you are in that Malacca to find what you need the unknown factor is the well Malacca is the richest thing. It's the scariest and it demands all that one needs as an artist of what cannot be controlled. And it's exactly what in that process that we found out that matures us as a person even, especially a lot that we fear, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know about anybody who is an artist. I think it, my experience is that artists come from all different levels. And the question is, what is art to you? And what is your craft? And I say craft in the sense of something that you practice uh, or even deeper. Uh, because if you practice in a certain area of dance, you become quite skillful. But we also want to f feel that we are not bound by that skill as a habitual area. We always want to find this area where we can find a kind of fineness in our work, a subtlety and lightness of being. And these are connected to the idea of the soul, right? And that is what yeah I do, don't have to be very strict actually you can just play sometimes it's true that you know you can say oh you know it's I, I don't do my well it's very soulful it's just you know it's just gonna be very funny but sometimes you in the process you this is the place to do it and then you you will find out because it comes in my right ways there is no basic form for it but there's a lot of support you'll be surprised because the support comes from the artists themselves. It's not a support from the producers, from the crew, from the technical people. Yeah. In fact, in some ways when we used to have a lot of support that way, they restrict you. Because they tell you what they need. <laughs> and it's quite surprising how I think in these last few years we found out that it's refreshingly free to just play without all this so, yeah.
Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. just... What do you like to know? Huh? No, 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 that's already yeah. done. Um, so that's great. If there are any more questions, yeah. then people can actually send yeah. you an email. I think it's good.